Hey guys, how's it going? Tony once again. Uh, just another video. Uh, we've been following the series. If you've been here with me working throughout my short notice videos. Uh, I started a dead block and uh, I think it's very helpful for all of us to uh, learn about money and stuff like that. But gibberish, money, this and that. The thing about life and money is that money and life and health have to be balanced. And if you don't know how to do that, then you're going to have a hard time. Now today is just a quick, you know, little thing to talk about. I've been having a great time. You know, I love my job. I love what I do. But uh, there's, there's ups and downs. And things happen. And we just can't change those things. So I take everything for a reason. Things happen for a reason and you just have to move on but uh besides from that spring is here nice weather's here so there's no time to uh, put hard feelings in front and let's just enjoy what we have coming in today and wait for tomorrow but live for today uh, besides that uh, a big note happiness and awesome thing that happened is that I'm almost done paying my car yes I'm almost done I'm happy I'm a little late I didn't get into the mindset of paying down and managing and financial and all that poo poo whatever you want to call it but uh, if I was in my shoes that I am right now last year I would have been in a far way better situation I mean we're not bad but you know we're working it better than we were and we're little by little uh, making it work and paying a car with a ridiculous interest rate which was her first time in a dealer being bullied and pushed and just ah, you know the first time in a dealer and you don't know nothing you you just went to see a car you come out with a new car and you just say yes to everything because of the pressure well I'm glad to say that will never happen again I have research we have research and we have learned to be patient and to be able to negotiate and make it work for us not to ask how much monthly but how much in total because that's how they get you that's how they get you but besides that any interest going towards a company is just free money coming out of your pocket and it's not not good with me that money could be going somewhere else besides that uh, I'm pretty happy and pleased that uh, we're almost there and we should be done really soon it this year has been it was a hard start at first um, due to low um, amount of work that was available to me but once I got the chance to get all of it I started ramping up the batteries and you know motivating dedicating and putting everything towards it living an old life for a while and uh, I could tell you that it's very well worth it and it's just itchy that feeling once we have our title you know the car is finally ours we don't owe nobody we don't slave to nobody that's how I see it. If you owe somebody, you're slaving yourself to somebody until you pay it off. You're just thinking about it like, oh my god, I have to go to work. I have to pay this person because if I don't go to work, I don't like that person's just gonna keep their third eye looking at me. But uh, yeah, that's that's today's main note. Uh, appreciate everything you have. Never look at what everybody else has. Always look at what you have and what you didn't have last year and the year before that. And just remember, a roof, clothes, and food, that should be enough for some. For most of us. All of us. It shouldn't matter what we have. It's just materialistic things. And those things shouldn't matter that much. I don't know what I'm saying because, you know, it's, it's just a life turnaround for me. And uh, it's hard to explain. But it's a wonderful thing to experience. And I'm glad I'm in my shoes right now. And I'm glad you guys are watching this video because... Without you guys, without Reddit, without, you know, Google and all this and my wife and all these people pushing me, then there wouldn't be anything. It would just be a normal American. 
with that. I mean, I could say I'm still in debt, but not crazy. I, I could manage it. Delete it. No, I know. But just keep your head up. Keep your dreams high. Because if I could do it, you could do it. Anybody could do it. If it's possible, it'll happen. It will happen. So, for today, me, for tomorrow, you. And, uh, you know, if you guys got any questions, anything you want to ask, go ahead and ask in the comments below. And, you know, one question I got for you is, what is your main goal in life? What is it that you want so much that you know that you could do it and you are working hard? Let me know. When will you get it? Will you be able to get it? Because I know you can. Our next goal, a house. You could be there. We'll tell you when.